Carlos EDC. What? Hey guys, this is Carlos EDC and Metal Complex basically tagged me in a video called the uh, past, present, and future of the knife world. I'm pretty excited about it because when I started the channel, uh, my goal was to be part of the community, part of the everyday carry community, knife community, knife nuts. And I feel like that, you know, happened 2019. But anyway, we'll start with the past, obviously. And the thing that got me into knives and that got me involved and, and started this whole crazy thing was just cheap uh, M-Tech knives from eBay. As soon as I was able to get an eBay account, I ordered a few of those, one for my dad and one for me. It didn't work out. But the next thing I wanted was a fixed blade, and I went with a Kabar. Uh, one of those Marine Kabars uh, with the leather handle. But I would clip that thing on my belt. And I would put the rest of the sheath in my pocket, and I would wear really long t-shirts, so you couldn't even tell I was carrying a knife. Uh, but then I would pull it out for work or whatever, because I've been working in construction since I was 12. I owned a Kabar when I was 15, so on a construction site, I just pull that thing out, and I'll open packages or do unnecessary things, pride stuff, uh, until one day we took off, off a hardwood door, and I threw the knife at the door, and it hit the wrong it hit the hardwood door the wrong way and it broke in half uh, i was pretty upset because for me fifty dollars at the time was a lot of money you know that's a whole date it's a date night you know I'll take a girl to burger king and a movie and uh, <laughs> that's 50 bucks uh after that i started watching a lot of youtube uh, watch uh related channels etc uh fashion and whatnot and eventually this YouTuber had a Kershaw leak. He recommended it. I went out and I bought a Kershaw leak. It was an olive handle and I think like a satin uh, blade. I love that thing. Love, love, love that thing. Eventually I lost it and then I googled Kershaw leak and I found a bunch of channels that talk knives. So that led me to buy a Tenacious because everybody was talking about Spyderco being great and Spyderco this and Spyderco. And I also love the Tenacious. So I was like, yeah, it's good to go. I put a zip tie on it to the Kershaw opening. Not the Kershaw opening. The Emerson opening thing with the zip tie. And I love the Tenacious. I had it for a long time and then I lost it. This was pre-adulthood. So I misplaced things a lot. Even as an adult, I still misplaced things. Uh, and then I found Nick Shabazz's channel. And eventually I bought a titanium frame lock that is pretty expensive and I also bought PM2 and I had a two knife collection the, the, the Guru was basically my dress up knife and you know just a cool knife and my PM2 was my work knife eventually a contractor offered me money for the PM2 and I was like hell yeah uh, he offered me a little bit over retail and I thought that was amazing so I sold it I was left without a PM2 for a long time and the Kaiser Guru was my knife before the YouTube channel, before Instagram, before any of that. I carried a a Guru and a utility knife, usually a Milwaukee. Guru is great. Um, it's a great tool. And it got me through uh, a few years. But now why don't we move this whole thing down to the mat and I'll show you the present. As for the present of the knife world, for me, uh, I've been very conservative with my collection, really trying to figure out what it is that I need uh, for every occasion, and I've gotten a single knife per, per that occasion. Uh, for example, everyday carry, my go-to will be and has been for a long time as the PM2. Uh, with an upgraded steel, this is S35DN, upgraded scales, these are tool carbon fiber, upgraded clip, this is a Lynch titanium clip. In the past, it is very much a better PM2, in my opinion. It even has a sharpening shoyo. So yeah, just better all-around PM2. Um, my working knife is an Outlast. It's a $255 knife that I use uh, at work, and I beat up, and, and right now it's not with me, it's with a friend. Because he wanted to check it out. Another past knife actually is this Sidki 0850. I loved it. It just didn't fit in that. And my current collection ethos. Where every knife has to have a niche in my life. Uh, the 0850 was a great knife. I loved it. But it just didn't fit anywhere. 
and my life. And then after work and after EDC, you know, just hanging out, going out to the mall or to the movies, I will be carrying a Techno. Uh, it's good to go for whatever you want to do, but it's pretty fancy. It's pretty fun. You can take great photos for the gram with it. Right now I have a backspacer for it. I don't really like it. I think I'm going to shorten the backspacer. But, yeah, the Techno has been with me for a while now, and I, I really enjoy it. Another present knife uh, today uh, is the Case Barlow. I actually won that from Zach, a guy who's also going to be doing uh, one of these style videos. Uh, super, super cool guy. Again, we're, hom we're homies on the Instagram, homies on the YouTube. Uh, but, yeah, this is the Case Barlow with red bone. Pretty cool knife. And also, I have my fixed blade here. Just whatever kind of crazy thing I got to do, it's on my nightstand. If I'm in a road trip, I, I throw this in the truck. And Pretty cool knife. I had it made 4 inches D2 steel. I made the Kydex for it. And I actually want to flip the, knife, the camera again and talk about the future. As of for the future, I'm really excited to check out the 8010, the Kapara. And I want to own a Deca, a Hogue Deca. And I say check out the first two because I don't know if I want to buy them. And I have buddies that are willing to uh, loan those to me uh, for 2020 for review. Which I'm extremely grateful for. Uh, so I'm really grateful. And uh, the DECA will uh, be in my collection. And it does have a home. This is uh, just a little Pelican style case. Uh, I got it at Home Depot. I, got, I already got my sticker on it. But it's going to fit a lot of things. I uh, haven't placed much on it. Uh, the Techno is up here. And the case is down here. But all these other stuff is, doesn't have a place for it yet. Um, I also have a really big leather collection that keeps on growing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put that in there or not. Oh, I forgot in the present. The Protec Sprint. This is my church knife. Uh, when the case... Um, when I don't feel like carrying the case for some reason uh, to church, I'll carry this thing uh, with a little note notebook cover and a pen, etc. Um, so this is very much a present. I love this freaking knife, which leads me back again to the future. Uh, the Protec SBR is something I would love to own. An upgraded Sprint would be something amazing. And I'm just excited to see all these uh, YouTube channels grow and uh, the community grow and just be a bigger part of the community. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for a weekly uh, live cast that I'm trying to put together. Also, I, I'd love to check out more of CT. Uh, the XM18 would be uh, something amazing to check out. Uh, but yeah, I think my top hit list would involve the AD10, the Capera, uh, the Hogue Deca, probably in Tan and Satin Blade. Fixed blades, tactical pterodactyl. I got the chance to check one out. I have a full video on my YouTube. Love to check more of that guy out. The native chief and anything Spider Co does, and my Carta again. If my if if Spider Co makes anything my Carta, I'm down. Also, I would love to check out a PM3 lightweight. A PM3 lightweight um, with an upgraded steel would be great. I know they have one out already. The red handle with M390 from LDT. DLT I think trading but M390 is just you know I've had it been there done that type of thing with M390 and 20CV uh, I would prefer like crew wear or M4 something that I haven't uh, experienced extensively and that would be cool but I don't know I'm just excited to keep doing reviews I'm just excited to keep making friends in the everyday carry community including you guys you know, I love that you guys leave comments down there, and I'm always down there answering all the comments. I'm always answering whatever question you might have. I'm always letting you know that, you know, that we're part of a community, that the everyday carry community is, is a cool one. It's a great one. But, yeah, that was it. That was it for past, present, and future. I'm just excited to be here, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys in 2020. Uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe. Especially if you've seen a handful of my videos. And uh, yeah, like, comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video.